Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. I know I got a massive sales channel and I've got a lot of you out there that every single day you have to talk to new clients. So today I invited my good buddy, Dave. Dave, what's up, man? What's up, Andy? Dave is a badass. Uh, he's a business owner. He's also great at sales. Um, but we talked about like, what's one of the biggest problems in the world right now? It's the art of communication. So we've decided to teach today three ways to master a stranger. That's it. Three ways to master and communicate with anybody that you don't know. So I asked Dave, and Dave's in the real estate space. Uh, me and Dave do a lot of events. We teach real estate, teach people how to make a half a million a year, a million a year in the real estate space or more. And, um, and we do events all the time. We've got one coming up in November. Long story short is I asked Dave, I said, Dave, today I want you to teach. That's it. And so this is gonna be a value video for you guys. Um, and let's let's use it in the real estate space because okay. I don't know what space everybody's in. So instead of teaching it generally, why don't you teach us three ways to master any client in the real estate space, Dave? I like that. I like it's all that. you, baby. Okay, so here's the thing: image is everything, and the number one, the number one thing is how do you look from head to toe? Now I've been in sales since God 1992, Andy. I'm old. Yeah, 30 years, baby. I'm old. Um, but here's the thing. Your appearance is everything. Now, back in the day when I was in the military, I was just learning how to become an adult and do adult things. And I remember I had a sergeant, Sergeant Appenzeller. This guy used to get on my ass every single day because my top of the uniform would be kind of pressed the bottom half wouldn't be pressed and my boots were not shiny, okay? And I'd show up to formation like that. And he'd look me up and down and go, Private Panazzo, when are you gonna get your shit together? And it started to make me think, now fast forward to, now I'm in sales. So what's that first impression someone has when they look you, because let's face it, everything. We're in, a, we're in a day and age where people are gonna prejudge everybody with it what is it seconds something mm -hmm. yep. so they're gonna look you up and down okay they're gonna look at your shoes they're gonna look at your watch they're Before gonna look you at say a word all of it mm -hmm. you gotta admit you have to make yourself look right and tight at all times and and again the way you dress i'm not saying you have to go have all this fancy expensive clothing but you have to have a neat appearance. Yep. I had someone the other day right. kind of tell me, hey, you gotta tuck your shirt in. You gotta, you gotta match your outfits. You gotta, you have to look presentable. And so I find when meeting with clients in real estate, now, whether you're a solo agent, you work on it, you're with a team, or maybe you're just kind of getting into this thing. I'm gonna tell you right now, being in uniform, and this is what uniform means to me. Have you ever had a cable guy show up at your house in a beat up truck with like the company logo on the side that's crooked? It's one of those magnetic type deals. And the guy knocks on your door and you're like, oh man, you're here to, to fix my cable. And you kind of look him up and down and you're just like, I don't know if this is the real guy or not. Mm -hmm. But then the next time the cable guy comes out to your house, there's a white utility truck. The stenciled logo is on the side. The guy has like a white outfit on and he has the company brand right there on his lapel. Mm -hmm. You feel comfortable. No question, authority. You're like, you're legit. Yeah. Same goes in real estate, guys and gals. So well, you won't take advice from the first cable guy or the second cable guy. You would allow that person to guide you. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As we're talking about Dave, and we're talking about three ways to master a stranger, you hear us talking about, or maybe you have in previous videos, about this event coming up in November. This is gonna be a one day event, how you can earn to make you know 500 grand a year, a million a year, as much as you want, okay? In the real estate space. It's gonna be with me and Dave. I'd love to send you information on it. So you guys, text the number below, you see it? Just shoot a text, say, hey Andy, send me information on the event coming up in November about real estate. Guys, you can make seven figures a year. You can do whatever you want. You can learn anything that can be taught as a skill and we're gonna be teaching them nothing but skill at this event. So text number below, we'll send you the information. I can't wait to meet you in person. Let's get back to the video. Yeah. Because they seem like the trusted advisor. 100%. Yeah. So that's half, I mean, number one, just showing up is half the battle. Number two, the presentation. So 
I find by wearing a company polo, now depending upon, okay, some people are gonna be where it's hot, some people are gonna be where it's cold. Listen, to have something that says your company name on it to give a stranger some comfort that, okay, I'm dealing with a professional. You look sharp. That's what you gotta do. I love it. And guess what? I wear my company shirts all the time because I go to the grocery store. I'm dealing with things outside of my office or outside of work hours and people go, so who do you work for? It's a brand. It starts a conversation. And then that conversation leads to exchanging a name and a number. And then next thing you know, Doing business. potential business. Mm -hmm. Cause people want to deal with others that have that look. Mm -hmm. That's right. People want to deal with people who are professionals. I think that's the biggest thing is that there's amateurs and there's professionals. And so I think step one is going to be look like a pro. Yeah, that's step one. Step two, what comes out of your mouth? Now this goes both for if you're on the phone or in person, you have to have a presentation of self so that when you answer the phone, you're excited. Mm -hmm. Like I play game with myself. Sometimes I get in the mood to play it. Sometimes I don't like when spam calls, you, you think it's spam. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes it can be a customer That's right. and you just never know. And so I'm always like, hello, this is Dave. Little enthusiasm, enthusiasm, voice inflection. Or, you know, you picture someone in a lazy boy and they're kind of halfway asleep. H hello? Is that someone I want to do business with? No worries. Absolutely not. And when you meet someone in person for the very first time, like, oh my God, Andy, mm -hmm. so cool to meet you. I know we've been, we've been on the phone like a thousand times. I feel like I know you. Now, who, who are these two little ones? Or uh, who's your wife? You're having com your voice inflection. You're excited. Thanks. You have no idea how many deals my wife and I have done because we've been excited. Mm -hmm. Just for our, and we truly are. We're excited to list your home. Mm -hmm. And my wife, cause she's psycho. Okay. Yeah. My, 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 she's my a, wife. She's, she's a badass. Her, our, our big thing is when people do business with us, you know, it's kind of like the excitement of like, okay, you know, we're buying a house or you're gonna list it. And then the dust settles a little bit. Mm -hmm. She'll go in on the back end. Hey, by the way, Andy, what was, what was the deciding factor for you to do business with us? Mm -hmm. Kim, you and Dave were the only agents that were excited to list our house. You seem like you cared. <laughs> Well, you say what comes out of your mouth, right? Which is number two, what comes out of your mouth. Uh, people can tell how much you care by what comes out of your mouth. People can tell, tell if you love what you do by how you speak. Um, the language that you use by the way that you speak out of your mouth lets me really understand like how professional you are also. Some people need to learn some new language. You know, speak differently. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep, and then by the way, uh, people, they, they feel a certain way based on the way that you talk to them, by the way you communicate with them. I have found that sometimes, you know, the, the old playbook, oh, you gotta mimic your client. Well, if you have a fuddy-duddy client, that doesn't mean you need to be fuddy-duddy. Come on, we, we, we don't need to go that to that extreme, but you also have to have, you have to be confident in how you speak. Mm -hmm. And like you said, learning some different ways to speak to people like, we're at a crazy age right now where everyone is doing this on their phone yep. and they're losing the art form of what it's like to actually talk to a human being. And they love it. <sighs> they love it when they hear it, they love it. They're reminded of how nice it is to have a good conversation with somebody. Cause everyone's like a robot. I, I even, when I go in the gas station and, and, and go to buy something, I'll, I'll say $4, 32 cents. Hey, how's your day going? I said four dollars and thirty-two cents. They're like they're all, they're in this program mindset. All transactions. <sighs> yeah, and if you want to make it in real estate, you need to speak with people, two people with familiarity, like you've known them your whole life. Which means, you know, there's it takes time to build rapport, but it and and you can do it in a couple minutes. But it doesn't take but one second to talk to somebody like you've known them for a long time. Because people can feel that. That's right. It's how you make them feel. Mm -hmm. If you're cold and just, you know, asking like, 
the sales questions and not getting personal with them, mm -hmm. they'll feel that. Yep. It, it's, yep. it's all in your voice. Okay, so this last one. Now, this, this technique, I can create a conversation with just about anyone to get to the point. It's called the love method. Now, I know there's some single people out there going, ooh, tell me about the love method. It's not that kind of love method, okay? Love, listen, observe, validate, and expand. So when you're talking to someone, it's like, oh, hey, Andy, what part of town are you from? Oh, Scottsdale. Okay, I'm gonna validate. Oh, you're from Scottsdale. So have you always lived there? I'm expanding now off of that, mm -hmm. off of that answer because I want to find out. Okay, is he originally from Arizona? Did he move here from somewhere else? Mm -hmm. And then typically, since you know, Phoenix is very transient, we have people all over the place. He's gonna say something like, "Yeah, you know, we, we've lived out here for a couple of years." Oh wow, where'd you move here from? Right, genuinely interested. You just go back and forth. You're validating what someone's saying and then expanding off. Oh wow. You're from Chicago. No kidding. I'm a huge Cubs fan. I'm, I actually live really close. I grew up outside of Chicago. And so now all of a sudden, you're having a meaningful conversation versus you want a four bedroom, two bath, pool? How much are you spending? Mm -hmm. straight and see, that's what happens. Salespeople, oh, they're talking to me. All right, let me jump to the conclusion and try to close them. <laughs> instead of getting to know what the circumstances are. And so by, by validating someone, and, and here's the best example I can give you. Have you ever told someone that you just got back from vacation yep. and you had an amazing time? And instead of them saying, oh my God, where did you go? Okay, validate, expand. Mm -hmm. They go right into, well, we have a vacation planned in December and we're going to blah, 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 right? Yeah, then you don't care anything about them. How'd that make you feel? Yeah. You skirt right over it. Yeah, and now, now, now the person feels like, well, they weren't even listening. Mm -hmm. Salespeople do this and, it's in, and the customers are the ones that feel that. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then they wanna know why, well, how come they're not calling me back? They're not returning my text messages. They're not returning my emails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you blew them out of the water. You didn't make them feel good. That's right. And by the way, like objections, relationships kill objections. So if you can't build great relationship, uh, you're always going to have a lot of objections. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As we're talking about Dave, and we're talking about three ways to master a stranger, you hear us talking about, or maybe you have in previous videos, about this event coming up in November. This is going to be a one-day event, how you can earn to make, you know, 500 grand a year, a million a year, as much as you want, okay, in the real estate space. It's going to be with me and Dave. I'd love to send you information on it. So, you guys, text the number below. You see it? Just shoot a text. Say, hey, Andy, send me information on the event coming up in November about real estate. Guys, you can make seven figures a year. You can do whatever you want. You can learn anything that can be taught as a skill, and we're going to be teaching about nothing but skill at this event. So text the number below. We'll send you the information. I can't wait to meet you in person. Let's get back to the video. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Okay, so we got the way you look. The way you look, yes. Okay, we got what comes out of your mouth, right? Presentation of self. Mm -hmm. the, the way that you talk. Yes. And then number three was? The love method. Okay, the way that you make people feel, right? And whether people just like feel if you even care about them or not. Right, you're, you're, you're validating what's coming out of their mouth. You're, you're not putting it to the wayside and ignoring what they're saying because, because clients will give you clues. Because if someone says, oh yeah, you know, my work transferred me down here. Okay, great, so what part of town do you wanna live in? Mm -hmm. Well, hold on a second. Well, you said work, like who do you work for? Mm -hmm. You want to find out like That's right. and getting people talking about themselves is super important the more people talk about themselves the more comfortable they become with you do we have a couple minutes i got one thing i want to share now this this is a fascinating experiment that i read about this psychologist got on a plane in new york city it was a one-way flight to la and they did this experiment where the psychologist sat right next to this complete stranger and the whole method to this experiment was the doctor was just going to ask this passenger questions. This is a long flight now, four and a half, five hours. Mm -hmm. 
The plan lanes in LA. Guy gets off the plane. They take this, the, the, the guy that the doctor was asking questions to, pulled him aside and said, hey, that guy that sat next to you on the plane, can you tell me a little bit about him? The passenger goes, that was the most fascinating person I ever sat to, sat next to on a plane ride. All he did was ask questions. Mm -hmm. People love to talk. No, and if you can pull it out of someone, next thing you know, you're having a conversation with your client versus at them because no one likes to be talked at. That's right. Yeah, this is the key. <laughs> Everything Dave's saying to you guys is the key to how to make relationships that other people can't make. That's the secret. If you want to sell more, if you want to win more people over, you know, you got to believe in yourself and all these things, but you got to stand out. You got to be different. You got to make relationships others can't. Your goal isn't to fit in, okay? They don't make statues, you know, of the, the critics and the haters and the people who fit in. They make cra uh, uh, statues of the crazy dreamers, the people that actually become different, okay? The ones that can build relationships are the ones that are always going to win and beat everybody. 100%. Um, me and you are putting together an event in Ooh, November. I'm excited, Andy. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. You're going to get um, all the real estate sales um, advice that Dave's going to teach you how to get into the real estate space. If you're already in real estate, Dave's going to show you how to open a badass team, kick ass, um, and also how to make, you know, six, seven figures uh, in, in real estate. And by the way, like now is the time, guys. Now is the time. It seems like a lot of people right now are whining, complaining, but the people that are training are kicking ass. Yeah, this is a great opportunity right now, especially in our time in our market. You know, we're starting to see a little bit of reprieve on the interest rates. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Everyone's about to blow up. Everyone's been waiting. They're like, oh, can't buy the interest rates. Well, guess what? Here's what's going to happen. The rates are going to drop. You're not going to be prepared. And then you're going to miss the boat. So we have been practicing day in day out getting ready for this because this next window get it's ready huge. baby get ready yeah there's gonna be a big transfer of wealth guys that's about yeah. to happen and you don't want to miss it so me and dave are putting on a one-day event okay guys it's gonna be in november you guys see the number below you guys can text um by the way dave by the way great job on Thank three you. simple things and i know Easy. we could have covered 100 yeah but three simple things on how to master a stranger if somebody wants to find you on social media how do they find you? How do they follow you and see what you do? Best way to find it, go right to Instagram, the Panazzo team. We'll also put that down below as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. We're, you can Google us as well, man. We're everywhere. Got a brand. Got to brand yourself, right? Yes. And I love it. And by the way, guys, every single day I tell people, I'm like, man, this is the time to wake up. If you believe that you're a killer, if you believe that you've always been waiting for your way out, your opportunity, this is it. Okay. Self-development is the key to success. That is how real success happens. And so as we drop these daily videos, I hope you found them valuable and they can allow you to go into your next relationship, you know, 20 times as strong. But you gotta immerse into this stuff. And the best way to do it is face to face. So we're putting on a one day event, it's gonna be in November. If you guys wanna come spend the day, okay? And you guys wanna grow, you wanna train, um, you wanna learn how to, you know, create an earning opportunity and put a fence around your family financially and take care of them. If you wanna go to another level, um, this is it guys. This is your shot. And so the number below, just shoot a text message, okay? Um, say, hey, I saw you on Andy's podcast or I saw the podcast with you, Andy, and uh, I wanna come to the event in November. I wanna get information. Guys, total recreation, it'll yes. change your life, okay? So Dave, I really appreciate you, bro. Thank you, Andy. Great, great job on uh, the three ways to master a stranger. Dave, use it as a real estate perspective, but it's all the same, okay? You guys, every single day, 1% better. A lot of people think they're miles away from a new life. I think you're millimeters away from a yep. new life, okay? So immerse yourself into this one day event. Come spend it with me, come spend it with us. Let's get close. Guys, shoot shoot the text, the number below, and then we'll reach out, we'll set it up, and we'll get you the information at the event. We love you guys, Dave, cool. I appreciate it. Man. Thank you, Andy. Guys, have a blessed Let's day. Let's go. And I will see you soon, let's get it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.